that we ran into. <laughs> and I've got winter bag number two. And so I had to sit there and wring out all of my clothes. You excited? <laughs> Do we have dad out on the Sunday walk now? that's you know trending it's the app that everyone uses to like turn themselves into like the opposite gender of themselves but you can also use that app to do different hair and I did blonde on top of my blonde in that app and now I want to go like way blonder so I'm gonna show my hairdresser what my hair looked like in face app with the blonde filter over my blonde and then you know we'll see if she's like down to do it because like the other thing too and what's like not great timing about me asking for this is she's gonna go on maternity leave in a couple months so if I go blonder that means I need to technically get touched up more often so I just may be making a horrible decision with this timing but I really 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 want to try to like match the hair oh my god the traffic right now for what it's like noon and gloomy on a Friday, so I know y'all aren't headed to the beach. It's so crazy. Anyway, sorry. I was trying to determine if I should take the freeway and I just saw it. It's like completely backed up. I'm like, nope. But yeah, anyways, I will see if she is uh, is down to throw a little bit more bleach in there. I just may have to, if that's the case, deal with having roots for a little while while she's on maternity leave. just got my hair done i don't know why i always do this in the car it's not like you guys can see it very well but i was trying to debate if i wanted to go get crumble right now they have a mystery cookie this week and i'm like lukewarm towards the mystery cookie that they currently have and tomorrow i am doing like my normal little hike slash walking trail that i do with leo every saturday which is over by crumble so i'm like maybe I'll see what the mystery cookie is tomorrow because today is the last day for the current mystery cookie. So I, I think I'm just gonna take the gamble and hope that tomorrow's is gonna be better. It's actually Trevor's first week off. So he's gonna join us for our little trail walks this weekend, which is very exciting. So yeah, I think I'll just wait until tomorrow. That sounds better because also too, I need to clean up 
I mean, I, I already tidied at home, but could definitely tidy just like a little bit more because we have some sitters coming for a meet and greet with Leo. Loved the one that I told you guys about in the last vlog. And like, we'd easily be happy to go with her, but I also, I've talked to this one on the phone and I really, really love her as well. So I think between the two, we're solid. We're gonna have someone to watch Leo for when we go to Vegas and someone who would come in maybe a couple times a month to walk him regularly, just so that's consistent for Leo. He's very familiar with this person and stuff. Ooh, I think I might've just found a new coffee shop. Sorry, I'm like <laughs> ADHD. Coffee and acai. But okay, anyways. <laughs> what I was saying. Yeah, our plan is just to hire a regular walker for Leo. Luckily, it's not something that we need. I know like there's people out there who need walkers daily because they're at work and they hire someone to like walk their dog during the day. Not needed since I am fortunate enough to work from home. So I get to be with Leo all day, but we want to hire someone who's consistent, who clicks with Leo and have them come in a couple times a month and either walk him or do drop-ins. It would probably be more on the weekends, like when Trevor and I have plans or, you know, when Trevor goes back to work and then like on the days that I'm shooting, just so that whenever we leave for a trip and the sitter comes over and stays there, Leo's very comfortable and very, very used to it. And hopefully too, that that'll be like less stress on him with us being gone, that someone super familiar is at the house with him and watching over him and stuff. So Anyways, yeah, I have to get home for that interview, but I think tonight Trevor and I are gonna watch the new Dungeons and Dragons movie. It just came out, I think on Paramount or HBO, one of those. So we're gonna get sushi and do that when he gets home. Just got done with the meeting for a pet sitter, but here's my hair in better lighting because Trevor's car has definitely better lighting than mine. We're going to pick up sushi tonight and we're gonna watch Dungeons and Dragons. I'm so excited. I've been um, like dying uh, to watch it. What? Both are? Okay, we're both excited. But yeah, here's the hair. We went blonder through here and then she trimmed my bangs. Just a nice little refresh, you know. Are you excited for tomorrow to, for the walking trail? You, all, you kept saying how excited you are. What? Is this like a Walking Dead thing? No, the walking, the trail that we go on on Saturday. Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. So here's the spread. What did you get? California roll. Ah. And, and spicy tuna. Got it. And then I got the ebi, which is the shrimp sushi. Also a soft shell crab because it was actually reasonably priced there. Got two rices and then, hey, leave it, sir. I got miso soup. So that is our sushi spread for tonight. And we're going to put on Dungeons and Dragons. So we'll keep your share then. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see if he uses the ladder. Okay, we we'll You gotta guide him. There's stairs, buddy. There you go. Oh my god. It works. Hey, hey, back. Leo. Get him back. Yeah. yeah. Stay. So Leo's riding in Trevor's car for the first time today. I was like, get ready to need to wash your windows like immediately. Because Trevor's car is pristine. And now Leo's gonna get his nose smudges everywhere. <laughs> his paw up on the armrest. <laughs> Hi buddy. <laughs> so Trevor's coming on Leo and my Saturday walk. For the first time, he hasn't seen this like little walking trail that we're gonna do. And I know you've been really wanting to go on it. Mm -hmm. I just wish it was clearer. <laughs> I don't care, I like this weather. <laughs> well, I just mean because like the view is like gorgeous when it's like blue and sunny. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. It's still an ocean baby -o, I mean. No complaints. But we're on our way to go pick up coffee. We ordered from Kit Coffee. You can have some coffee on the walk. Afterwards, I'll I'll spoil you with the Sprouts five dollar sandwich. Sweet. <laughs> Look at that nose, just stick it up. That is the cutest nose, just sticking out, buddy. Aww. <laughs> so Trevor just realized he doesn't know how to put his hazards on. Oh, they're right here. We, oh, <laughs> of course. As soon as I turn on the camera, <laughs> we realize where it is. And okay, now where am I going? And then you make your first right. But we picked up coffee from Kit Coffee to have on the walk. So yeah, like a right. And then another right at the stop. 
I'm throwing on my weighted vest. I put an extra weight in it. So I felt like I wasn't getting like super challenged. So on my phone in there. I don't like him drinking from the communal fountain over at the end of this, so I brought his water bottle. You want your coffee? Did you want to take it on the trail or no? Oh, okay. There's a thing going on today. Lots of flags everywhere. Hey, bud. Look at who we ran into. <laughs> Stacy, <laughs> Sylvia, and John. Hey. I was saying how Stacy looks like Meredith Blake, and I look like Meredith Blake's mother. You do. <laughs> oh house, my god. My oh mom, my, you have a perfect Meredith Blake outfit. Yeah. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so of course, Trevor's first weekend doing that was during like the busiest time ever. There's some sort of ceremony going on. At Which the is park. weird because we are a week and a half before Memorial Day. Yeah, that's what all those flags were for. It's for some ceremony. We thought it was just like them getting ready for Memorial Day, but apparently not. And it was so, so busy. We didn't go all the way to the end. Shell told us that there was like a ceremony going on over there. There were a lot of dogs, so we just opted not to go over there. So we went around a different way, but yeah, Trevor didn't know we were gonna run into them. It was a nice surprise. I wasn't sure if we were going to, that's why I didn't say anything. I was so stoked. Like, Cause it was like, like, I know you would have been so sad if I was like, oh, we may run into them I and then we don't. Devastated. Yeah, but no, so it was like a treat anything. for me. Like, yeah. we're treating the dog? No, it was a treat for me. Yeah. <laughs> to see Michelle and her family. Yeah, so. That was, a, that was a fun surprise. And then it was funny too, we actually parked behind Michelle, but I don't know her like license plate yet, so I wasn't entirely sure. And you then I- being coy as F. No, dude. and then I saw them walking and Michelle had on this big hat, so I didn't recognize her. And I was like, oh, I don't think that that's them. Yeah, uh, that but was, it was the very mom Michelle look going on right there. <laughs> no offense to Michelle. Come on. That was Sophia's hat. Don't think that was Sophia's hat. I'm not making fun. <laughs> Sophia's her mom. That was her mom hat. This is where they're going. Oh, I thought you said you wanted me to go in there for a second. No, like, no, what the no, hell? no, 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 uh, no. Not yet. Um, after, uh, turn, not at this light. I thought it's the sign that says Sprouts. Yeah, you can turn at the next light, though, for okay. it. Okay. Yeah. But I'm taking Trevor to go get the $5 Sprout sandwich. What's in it? Can I even eat it? Yeah, uh, there's a form. You fill out what you want in it. Oh. And there's tuna. Oh. So that's why I was going to oh. have you go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh. so we're gonna go get our sandwiches to uh, to refuel a little bit. And Trevor said he liked his coffee. He got the iced vanilla latte from Kit. Broadening my horizons. Yeah. I mean, you guys know how I feel about the iced chocolate covered strawberry one. Like, it's good. It's not amazing, but it's good. Personally, I prefer to drive out of my way and go to Moon Goat, but it was maybe good that he didn't because of how busy it was today. We just need to get in and get out. Mm. All right, go and put it over there. home a little while ago I just like cleaned myself up and then I've been doing some laundry but I wanted to go into this closet over here I'm in the spare room right now this is where I keep all of my thicker longer winter coats and stuff I'm actually gonna go ahead and vacuum seal up the thicker coats because I don't need them anymore summer is fast approaching and stuff and I don't need it like taking up all of this extra room and stuff I want to put my purses back in the closet I want to get everything off of this hanging rack right here there just wasn't room inside the closet because of the winter clothes before but if I can take out the thick coats then I can hopefully put things back in there and also get this room a little bit more organized because it's gotten a little bit chaotic. Things like this jacket, I mean, I love it. I'll probably keep this forever until it falls apart, but it's just taking up way too much room. The duvet coat, definitely do not need this again until like deep winter. I'll leave the trench coat and the parka because it might still rain a couple more times this year. I highly doubt I will need this fur coat until December. So we'll get rid of that. I think that that's it on this side. And in here, puffer vest, not needed. Fur coat, not needed. Another puffer vest, not needed right now. This Sherpa is not needed. This Disney Sherpa is not needed either. And another puffer vest. So I have all that. And then I have one Sherpa in here. So this Sherpa is very, very similar in material to the blankets that Leo suckles on. And one day, I thought he was suckling on a blanket. It was the sweater. 
<laughs> so now this has a hole in the sleeve, but you might be wondering, well then why keep it? It's actually reversible. I can wear the pink side out. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the future. But for right now, I definitely don't need that again until December. So I'm going to find the suction bags and then bring up the vacuum and we'll get this all sealed and stored away. No, no, no. Leo, uh, drop. Thank you. Please don't mind the mess in the background. Although, actually, the angle you guys have isn't too bad, but I need to start with my fur coat since I have a thief eyeing it right now. But if you guys are like me and have like a lot of thick winter coats, but you live in somewhere where when it comes to spring and summer, you definitely don't need them and they're taking too much room, I cannot recommend doing these like vacuum bags enough they're so good especially with stuff like puffers where it's mainly all air this will like suck all the air out and make it so compact then i just store all these underneath the bed just so you guys can see this is how big it is it's like thick from the sides because again this all puffer vests sherpas my fur coat that kind of stuff i got the vacuum I just pop the nozzle right on this blue thing <laughs> and on <laughs> It's okay. Oh, this is the first time you've seen our actual big vacuum, huh? Because we've just been using DJ Yeedy. All right, and then just twist this back in. Make sure it's nice and tight so the air doesn't leak. But look at how much smaller that is now. Super compressed. Okay, I'm gonna do a second one. And then I'm gonna pop these underneath the bed for storage for the rest of the year. And I've got winter bag number two. So this is just like the rest of the Sherpas and then any other coats that are just like too heavy to be wearing over the next like five to six months. So tried to be responsible and do a couple loads of laundry and our freaking washer dryer, I swear to God. So I did like a light load and a dark load and I loaded up the light load just fine. It washed just fine, but apparently the machine ate the money for my second load, which was my darks. So it never actually ran and... I was like, oh, okay, I guess this one's busted. Let me just move everything into the other washer. And it starts filling up the washer with water and stuff. And I hear it stop halfway and it won't load anything. Half of my clothes are soaked and just sitting in water. The detergent pod already broke open. And so I had to sit there and wring out all of my clothes, load them into my basket here. It's so fucking heavy, but yeah, load it up into my basket. And now I have to go to the laundromat <laughs> and my pants are soaked. It looks like I peed all over myself, but right now I don't care. I just want to get this washed and done because I'm annoyed, <laughs> but oh my God, I'm out of breath carrying a basket full of soaking wet clothes <sighs> that is a workout on top of the little mini hike that we did so i got lower body in today and i got upper body in i'm done <laughs> So I've got a half hour on the washer. I'm gonna go get myself some Starbucks. I, I need a pick me up right now. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> My mood is not great. So I'm gonna get myself a little serotonin boost. Let me see here. Do they have any like special new things in order here? Featured. Oh yeah, they have the Java Mint. I don't want a Frappuccino though. I'm not a Frappuccino girl. I was hoping they had like an iced coffee version of the Java mint chip. That sucks. Do I want coffee or do I want chai? Or do I want a dragon fruit refresher? I don't know. You know what I do want for sure? Not even a question. Chocolate croissant, fuck yeah. I'm sweating. I'm not even kidding. That laundry basket must've been about 50 pounds. Do I want a brown sugar shake and espresso? Or do I want my cookie butter latte? You know what, let's do the brown sugar shake and espresso. Let's do that. I'm good with that. Add to order. I'm just gonna do a tall. God, 920? Starbucks is way too expensive. That's why I like never get it. Perfect. Let's go pick it up and then I'll head back there and just wait around for my laundry. I'm not sure how well this is even gonna come off on camera, but I am, I'm soaked. It literally looks like I peed my pants. Like, okay, yeah, I think you can see it. Like, that's where the line is. <laughs> and then, like, going into the laundromat, I didn't care, but right now I'm going into Starbucks and I'm like, oh, crap. I literally looks, 
It literally looks like I just peed my pants. Got some funny looks, but whatever. I don't care. Right now, I just, I don't care. I decided I have like a few minutes till I have to like absolutely get back. So I think I'm gonna hop over to Home Goods. One of you guys was so nice to comment and let me know that they have like cute ice molds over at Home Goods that I could use to change up Leo's goat milk and bone broth molds. So I'm gonna just go take a look really quick, see if they have anything that catches my eye and then head straight back. Maybe I'll also shoot some photos because why not like I've got time doesn't hurt there's a few over here they have these little honeycombs which is cute but they're not gonna work for his stuff dang did I just like miss out on the cute molds these are kind of cute I could do raw meat in these that would be fun oh my gosh such cute popsicle molds look at these adorable not what I need though is this it are these all the molds that they have I think I missed out on all the good ones that's a bummer I just realized these are poops how fucking funny. I kind of want these. Well, maybe they're not poops. They just look like poops because it's brown, but there's no price on this. But there's also these little ice cream cones, which are cute, but I think they're too shallow. Pull up. Oh my God, these are all so cute. I don't need two of each though. Okay, no, I think I'm gonna get some of these though. So I just decided to get one. I got these cute seashells. I'm thinking of using this for his bra. These are a bit too big for, well, I guess it's the equivalent to two of the little molds that I give him. Well, no, maybe like three. So yeah, they're too big, but I would love to use this for raw. I just probably won't pack it all the way up. I'll just like do it about halfway high, but I think that would be so cute to do like some raw beef or raw rabbit or something in there and use it as like an additional topper. Whenever I do that, I probably would just take out a little bit of his kibble or something from like the main base of his dish. But yeah, I think that that would be super fun to like decorate his bowl with some like raw meat seashells. So we are going on a late night ice cream run. I'm very excited <laughs> because I've been wanting to go and we always keep forgetting. It's so funny, like we moved here and we never go even though. I think we've gone once since we've lived here. No, we haven't. We haven't oh. been in years, but we're going to Cauldron. I'm so excited. I want a bubble cone so bad. I miss Cauldron. I can't believe like we live like 10 minutes away from it and we just have not been going. So shame on us. I know. We had wanted to go after dinner when we went to Morton's, but dinner ended up running really, really late. We were hanging out with friends, having a good time. So we were just not gonna make it before Cauldron closed. So I told Trevor tonight I would treat us to some ice cream. So super stoked. Somewhere in between. Time to be in love Oh my God If forever is not enough Oh my God What a time to be Trevor got mint chip and uh, was it red velvet with yes. Oreos on top you Excited yes. <laughs> I got chocolate with sea salt and a strawberry popcorn. Oh my God, that was so fucking good. I switched up my order this time and I did just like the regular chocolate but I got sea salt on top in the strawberry puffle cone. I've never had one of the flavored puffle cones and they're so good. Oh my god. It was like the perfect combo because I usually get the s'mores and it's usually really sweet with like the toasted marshmallow on top and I like don't finish it but this time I was like oh yeah I can finish this. Yours was good. Oh yeah. I'm down to Super hot. Yeah. Trevor was like halfway done with his by the time I got mine. <laughs> So I am trying to calm down right now and stop from shaking. Literally just had the meanest interaction ever. So I took Leo just to like walk around the streets by our place today. This morning, I, we didn't take him on the back bay hike because he didn't seem to be feeling that well this morning. He wasn't eating his breakfast and stuff. So we think he just like, he ate something yesterday that didn't agree with him. Although we can't figure out what it was because we were with him all day and we saw everything he ate unless he just like got into something when we weren't looking. But I mean, he's not, nauseous or anything it's just he just didn't have an appetite for his breakfast but he did take like roast beef and cheese from me on the walk so he's like super high value he's still eating so we're just like keeping an eye on him but he had a ton of energy on our walk so i think we'll take him to back bay for like an evening walk but anyways so i was walking him just like along some streets nearby our place and 
I thought I'd already heard like the meanest things already from people whenever I was walking Spart because like people would see his muzzle or just his breed and be like, oh, that's a mean dog. You shouldn't be letting him out. That's so dangerous for you to have him. Can you really handle him? And I'm like, first off, yes, I can fucking handle him. Second off, he's probably more well-behaved than you, but because you're not well-behaved or because you don't train your dog, I have to muzzle my dog because he's been attacked by off-leash dogs before. So I'd always get comments like that and it was like upsetting at first, but then after a while I just like brush it off. I'm like, whatever, like these people are stupid. But I mean, generally with Leo, I always get like really positive things. Like, oh my God, he's so cute. That's so amazing. You guys have him. Good for you guys, stuff like that. So generally very, very positive interactions with people. The worst I get is like people sometimes get really nosy and they'll literally make me stop my walk to like ask why he lost his leg and stuff. It's all coming from a good place. So I'm not offended. I'm just kind of like, you don't need to make me stop my walk for this. I was walking him and today, some asshole took the time as he was driving by us to slow down, roll his window down and yell, hey, put that thing down at us. And I just like, I was fuming. I was so pissed. And then he just drove off. Like didn't even stay for a response, fucking coward. I was just like left there shaking. That's so awful of you to say on so many different levels. That's fucking terrible. I, to me, people who are mean to animals are like literally the worst kinds of people. So yeah, I was just like really upset because first off, I was already worried about Leo with the fact that his tummy isn't feeling good. And then on top of that, like I have this asshole telling me to put him down. Like, fuck you, dude. But anyways, yeah, that's how our Sunday started off. So annoyed. I mean, obviously he doesn't understand. He doesn't know. He's fine. <laughs> like, <laughs> he, has, he has no idea what that guy said, but like I'm super upset obviously that's not okay That's not cool, especially to say about like my poor dog who's been through so much and is still such a happy dog Like fuck you I hope you hit every single red light for the rest of your life And I hope that every day is awful for you. Just ugh, what a miserable person But anyways, just decompressing trying to make the best out of the day. The sun's starting to come out I'm going to Target right now I'm gonna pick up Leo some white rice and just like some ground beef and I'm just gonna make him like just like a simple Simple meal like that probably keep them on like a simple diet for a little while also maybe some pumpkin as well I used to do this for Spart when he would get upset stomachs and you know obviously it's like a vet recommended thing to put them on a diet like that if their tummy's upset but we used to do it with chicken with Spart Leo has a chicken aversion so I don't want to make him gassy on top of not feeling really good so I'm just gonna grab some simple ground beef and white rice for him someone's feeling better so that's good finally started eating his breakfast can we have dad out on the Sunday walk now <laughs> oh, bud. Just got done with our little mini hike. I will tell you because that one goes a little bit uphill and downhill and stuff like the elevation changes a bit I could really feel my weighted vest because like the last few walks that I've done with it I started with it as is no added weights in and I like wasn't even like really feeling it that much and then for yesterday's walk, I added in two weights and I told Trevor, I was like, oh, I can feel it a little bit. Like it feels like a little bit of a challenge. And then today doing the back bay in that, I really felt it going uphill. So I think I have a good weight in it for now. I'll probably add some more weight later, but definitely love having that for these like longer, more hiking walks that Leo and I do. It's nice because like it effortlessly adds in an extra little challenge for me. So yeah, I really like it. If you have a dog and you use their walks as like exercise for yourself as well, I definitely highly recommend adding in a weighted vest for yourself just to give yourself a little bit more of a challenge and stuff but right now 
We're getting sushi again. <laughs> Trevor's picking up some sushi for our dinner tonight. And then Leo's got rice and ground beef ready at home. He's been doing better as the day's going on. His appetite's definitely back. I saw he finished his breakfast. And then I made him a licky mat with goat's milk and pumpkin, both of which are really good for digestion. And then pumpkin, especially if your dog is having like digestive issues, it really helps. And then I put like little pieces of ground beef to top it off to motivate him to eat it. So he finished that as well. So his appetite is good. It's back. Trevor says he feels like he seems a little tired, but I think that's also because he was tired from yesterday. Because I mean, he's conditioned to do that Saturday morning walk, but I think because Trevor was with us, he just like got so much more excited. And then on top of that, it was like, crazy busy yesterday there was so much more people so many more dogs so i think it was a lot of stimulation for him on top of having trevor there and being like super super excited and just like hyping himself up so now he's just exhausted well kind of exhausted he just got hyped up because we did the back bay but yeah he seems to be feeling better huh buddy you know, he, now he's looking for trevor he doesn't care about me until trevor comes back because once someone is missing he will not rest until they've come back it's dad coming in the car See that? Oh my goodness.